Hi, Mike Perrone. I'm going to show you my uh, patented crush door simulator. These outward opening doors, these flush doors, you find in the back of uh, taxpayers, strip malls, any commercial building. Most multiple dwellings have outward opening doors as bulkhead doors on their roof. This is a real, a real steel door, section of real steel door. This is how it works. I have a third of a door here. In other words, doors are normally about 79 inches tall. That's what they are on average. And this is about 26 and 38. We cut them. When you load these doors, always put the seam to the door stop. That's how it is in the real world. So you drop it in, and now you put your two horizontal bars in to hold it in. Now with my pro bar, I can go through all the techniques. That's five forces. One, two, three, four, five. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save the last one in the middle on this side for last. What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take these two brackets off and we're gonna put one of them down the middle so that now when we go in here for this last force, we're actually gonna be forcing the door out. Now, say you don't have a 36 inch wide door. You just take this, you drop, you drop this in. It bolts in at the top and the bottom. This rides right along whatever, whatever width door from 36 to 24 inch wide doors. This door gives you six different forces for a third of a door. So a full door, you're looking at 18 different ways of teaching guys different methods to be able to force the door out. I'm gonna show you those ways. All right, we're gonna put it through its paces. Thank you. Okay, I got a 36 inch door slab in here. The jam is the same size as a regular door jam and the door stops on the inside are the same exact size. So if I force this, I'm forcing the door in the real world. Worst scenario, right? You're at the back of a tax pay, the thing's roaring, and you're back there and all you have is a halligan and you're by yourself. Nobody to hit you in. If I'm by myself and I can't get this to go and nobody's here to hit me in with another tool here, I'm gonna have to make this purchase bigger. I'm by myself, the best way I, the best way I found to do it, I'll bang in here about three or four inches in. It'll open up that gap enough for me to get in there and start crushing, so here we go. Okay, now, here's another problem I have. You see what I got back here? I got the back of the door separates. So I still can't get by that door stop. It's the back of the door separating. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush a little more to make it wider for me to get in there. And I'm gonna throw my fork in and hit this back part of the door off the door stop so that it bends over a little and I can grab the edge and pull it in, okay? Here we go. You see what I just did? I hit here, it bent the back. Now I can grab the back very easily, all right, and pull it over, and then come back in here with my ads, crush it, slide it by the door, and in the real world, pull it out, and you got it. Another technique we're going to try here, this technique on this side, I'm going to say I'm by myself again, but I'm carrying uh, one of these metal chocks uh, made by uh, Firehooks Unlimited. I come up to the door, and obviously, again, too tight to get in myself. I could take this metal chock out of my pocket, all right, and drive it right in. What that gives me is that gives me my purchase. Now I'll come down, pull the chock. Chock will fit. I crushed it to this point, but I still can't get my axe to the back of the door because the back of the door separates. All right, so I gotta get that to move over. Now if I had somebody with me, I could put the halligan here off the door stop, because the door stop is here. Off the door stop, and they could hit me and they could bend it, but I'm by myself, so I'm gonna turn around with the fork and I'm gonna hit off the doorstop. See, if I hit on the doorstop, guys, nothing happens. It's hitting the doorstop on the other side, so it's not gonna bend. If I come in here, though, and I hit hard, it's gonna bend that metal, and then I'm gonna be able to grab it once it's bent and pull it over, all right? So here we go. All right, 
Look at how that bent over. Now it's such an easy grab. I just grab it with the fork. It's easy to grab now and then pull it over and expose that door stop on the inside. Now it's completely exposed. I can actually just drop my ads right past it. If I needed to, I could even crush it out of my way a little more using the door edge, drop it in, and now I force the door out. All right, for this one, for this force here, we're gonna do two man. Now we're at the back of a taxpayer or even the front of a, a commercial building. We got an outward open and metal door and we gotta force it. I'm gonna put the ads here and Danny's gonna hit me in. Hit. One, once you hit the door stop on the inside, don't keep, don't keep hitting because the ads end will go into the soft door stop in the real world, okay? Now, we're gonna, now I'm gonna force the door by crushing it and uh, we'll see what happens to the back part of the door. I can come up or I can come down. Okay, all right, beautiful. Now the back went with the door that time. It didn't stay straight because it was on a tack weld at that point, which is even better. Since I crushed it, I didn't have to go after the back part of it like I did the other times. I'm actually, now I'm on the back. Danny, just hit me in a little bit. Good. And now in the real world, it's time for me and him to force this door outward. Okay? All right, for this last force down here on this side, what we're gonna do is, uh, Danny's gonna put the ax blade in. Say, say I had a hard, pull it out a second, Dan. Say I had a hard time getting in here, okay? You can also open up that by dropping the ax blade in and me hitting the ax blade in. All right, once the blade hits the door stop, there's a couple of things you could do. Pretty much if you took the ax out now and he's there to hit for me, I could drop the ads end in. You could also do this to enlarge the, the purchase point that you had. You could lock up your tools and as you're gonna pull the ax out, you bend it this way towards the door, and that opens it up just even a little more. Okay. All right, now you see what I have here. I still have a situation where I can't get by the door stop yet. Now I have two guys, so what Danny's gonna do is, I'm gonna put it here and he's gonna hit me in until that steel bends where I can grab the edge of it, okay? Yeah, Danny. Yo, stop right there. Look in here now. See how that, by hitting it there off the door stop, see how that steel bent? Now I could grab it with the fork and bend it over and now go in with the ads on the back of the door and we force the door out in the real world. All right? We're showing you techniques of getting by, wrapping the ads end around the back of a very fortified door. All right? All right, what we did, we did one, two, three, four forces already. We're gonna do the fifth one, and we're gonna save the uh, sixth one for last. That's a great one. All right, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm single person again, by myself, again, single person, you're at the door. I can't get this in, I got an open and out door. What I'm gonna do is before, I like the technique where you bang here and it opens up, but I'll show you another technique. I'm gonna spike around here. Once I bury it through the door, I'm gonna come in this way. The ads is gonna bite here, bending the door edge over. And I'm gonna hold that with a chalk and then drop the ads end in and start crushing and get by the door. All right. There, go. there goes the edge of the door. There goes my chalk. There goes the edge of the door. You can see it right there opening up. Hold that, okay, in. drop this in, and start crushing. That's good. And now this time, the back edge moved over. I don't have to go in and hit it, I can just grab that edge, maybe. Let me see if I can grab it with the fork, pull it over. There it goes. Come in behind it, I'm behind the door, and it's time to force the door outward. All right? All right, what we did, we showed you how to wrap, how to crush the door, get it out of your way, and wrap the ads around the back of the door 
to force out, all right? But obviously, it's being held in. We didn't force anything out. What we're gonna do now, since we did all five of these techniques, we're gonna force this last force and we're gonna actually show you the door forcing out. We're gonna change the configuration. We're gonna take these two brackets off and we're gonna put one of them down the middle, all right? Now, when we come in here and crush and get behind, past the door stop and we go to force the door out, it's actually gonna force this section of door out. We're gonna actually show how the door forces out. All right, what I have now is I'm gonna drop this in to make that recess, to mimic a recessed door in like a factory door, an open and out factory door with a recess into the brick building, okay? All right, what we did was we changed the configuration. We got the vertical bar, so we're gonna actually get in here. Danny's gonna hit me in, we're gonna crush, we're gonna get past the door, and we're gonna actually force this section of the door out. It's not being held anymore by the horizontal brackets. We're gonna actually force this section out. But we're gonna throw a kicker in there. Like I said before, it's gonna hit like as if it's the brick factory where they have the recessed doors. We've seen it all the time on factories. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna crush, we're gonna get by it, we're gonna force out, but then we're gonna be stopped from forcing all the way. And then I'm gonna show you a couple of nice techniques to get this door to come out some more. Okay, I got two men, I got Danny DiMartino with me here, he's gonna hit drive me in. Right here, where I wanna go in, it's nice and tight. I'm gonna open this up a little bit. Okay, Danny, drive me in. Hey. right there okay okay there's that back sleeve but I got a guy to hit for me so we're gonna we're gonna bend that over go ahead Danny hit good all right let me grab the top I got it go over crush it out of the way Okay, now we're on the other side of the door, just like we did with all of these when we did them. But this time we're gonna force the door out, okay? Now we come out. Okay, look how far out the back of the door has come, all right? Any locks holding there usually are gone, okay? But if they aren't, I can't go anymore because of this wall. The halogen's hitting the wall, okay? What I gotta do is, I got an option of this. I can, come, I can come down, it'll come out a little more, but I'm gonna show you a way to get the door to come out even more, even though you can't finish through this wall, okay? I can bring it back up, and Danny could take the ax and put the ax head against the wall at the bottom. See how it's anchored in down there now? All right, then I come out, when I come out again, It'll lock itself between the brick wall, this will be brick in the real world, and the frame. And now I come out on that. And look how far out I could get this door. I can put my whole hand in here. I mean, there's no locks gonna be holding you right there with that much of a push out, okay? But let's just say all you are is yourself and a Halligan tool. Nobody else with you, but of course you gotta your chocks, okay? I pull my chalk out, I draw back, and I put the chalk heavy end right in between the halogen and right on the edge of that the wall. It'll lock up in there and then they come out on that. Now look at how far I'm gonna be able to come out. So there's no locks holding you here. If there was ever any other locks that would be holding you, you could hold with another chalk at this point and work up the same way you're doing this on any of the locks in the door. Let me tell you something. By yourself, chalk and halogen, if you know what you're doing, use the techniques I use to get the ads behind the door. Once you're behind the door, you're in a position to force this door, okay? To get that door. Bingo. All right. 